Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You know what the score is today. It's literally three courses on here, three courses on here. Have a move round. We're going to go onto that pike at the front next. And in that front pike, there is two windows. And there, how do you call it? You tell me what you call it when a window's the same uh, rake as the pike. I don't actually know what you call that kind of window. but. That is what we've got. We've got two of them windows that fall in with the pike, angled um, angled lintels, and there's pad stones to be seated underneath. So I've just worked out the measurements to see where they fall. They look pretty good. Uh, they work coarse. So I'm going to get up to that uh, with the block work first, get the pads in. Or we could actually we could actually bring the brickwork up, get it to the right height, and then just back the block work up to them little sections, climb through the windows. Before we get into today's video, like the video if you uh, are going to like it you don't even know if you're going to like it but like it first and then you can unlike it later and subscribe to the channel if you're new there's a, probably 80 percent of my uh, watchers who aren't subscribed i don't know what the, what the actual figure is i made that up but i will put it in in the next clip <laughs> this week we're building up a big pike gable so down below this i'm sure that that was the first course of block work we've got one two three four five courses of lock work and that is bottom of the sill for the window i'll put a picture of the window that's got to go in on now there's two to go in exactly the same windows they're just left-handed and right-handed or left-handed and right-handed uh, which ties into the steels they've already gone in gauged up made sure that it's the right height for the outside downstairs from ground level to the top of doors 2.1 and then from the underside of lintel ground floor to the underside of sill on these windows is 2025 which is 27 courses so that's what we've gone for and it all works hey, oh, someone carrying a baby down there how do that once we get to this height we're running these in now the window rise on this side with it being an apex window is 585, so we've got 585. The window comes in roughly around here, around there. I'll come up to here. When I get within this point and the jam of the window, the window reveal, I need to put a pad stone in here and then there'll be a, 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 a lintel that'll come down and attach to this pad stone. So I've had to work out some height, make sure everything's right. But it is going to be another block and then if I have to put a couple of coursing bricks underneath or whatever it works I'll have a look in a minute um, but I'm going to mark the window reveal in a second which is already out there so it's probably about there so I'm not going to have a lot really probably one more course of block like I say a coursing block and I have to cut some of the pads turned down and then I'll do exactly the same for the other side then we're going to jump out on that front and start pulling the brickwork through. Got a little bit of a remedial there on this corner, um, just something that the other lads have done. Small closures, a couple of small closures. So again, drill them out, put some bigger closures in, and then we'll have this up to a nice height. We'll show you when we put the pad stones in how we've worked out the arts. When we go around the front, we'll show you how we've done it from the drawing to what we've had to, to get. <laughs>
nice one. If you have a quick scan across there, that's up to a height where I'm going to be, that's up to the height where I'm happy that we're going to get the um, outside scaffold to the same height and then we'll do them the same so we can walk blocks in and out and I'll have a word with the site manager about that, but I'm not going to put that any higher and I don't want the wind grabbing it until it's um, been backed up with brick. We've got these little sections in here, we're going to put some shot ties in there, one, two, uh, and we've got the same, the opposite side to do. Then we'll clear out of here and we'll go get on that grip wheel. Basically, we're just going on, there's a steel there set out. We'll just go to whatever that is. We won't be too fussy. There's a bit of insulation missing there, but that's a full gap. So what we'll do is, Bob it in and then whatever cuts we've got at the top will be the cuts we've got at the top. By the way, I didn't build that. As you know, there should be a tie through there and a tie through there. And obviously the same here, but what are you going to do? And then we've got some cuts. We'll just alternate. So 310, Aussie's on cuts, so we'll get on with the cuts now, but that's basically what we're going to do up there. Right, brew time, a little bit of the way in. Uh, last week, Monday, I was 200.6 pounds in weight. Today, I am 193 pounds dead in weight, so we've lost half a stone. Good going. Right, we've set up on the brickway. There was already that end to pull off, and that end we shoved a level. Just go down there, we'll, we'll show them. Oh! Um, and this side, we're just pulling a lot of return in. So, I'm going to come up to this level now. That's the level of the sills. And this has got insulation, full fill insulation. Have a quick look. We'll just give that a clean out before we pop this in. Probably two courses down, pop it in. Um, it's easier than pushing it in now and then try and brick up to it because I can clean all my snots off with the brick with. So, we've ended up with some, we've actually ended up with some dry bricks. Everyone else is using some wet ones. Ours were covered up nice on Friday. Uh, my man sorted us out. I don't know who my man is yet. Was it you, Ozzy, was it? Oh yeah, so I was doing all the stacks, wasn't I? On well, Friday. So everyone's moaning today saying they've got no dry bricks. We always have. We've got dry bricks. The mortars, everyone's saying the mortar's too wet. Well, if you fill it up like we do and don't follow it, the bricks don't sink. It's all right there. We're getting the line of the pipes back as well, sort of. Coming. And we're enjoying life. The only problem is we haven't been able to do that much recording because the radio's on everywhere. We really are struggling to find gaps in it. There's radio on in the background now, but we've just managed to... These drongos just kind of keep... They see me with the camera out and they can't keep the gob shut. <laughs> Anyone thought they just want me on camera, don't they? 
So that's where we're at. We'll get this up now. Uh, one more course, and we've already made this day weight money. So I just don't know what to do. Just slow down, just speed off. Yeah, it's not even two yet, is it? That, yeah, that's the predicament. <laughs> we've just been doing bits in there, a few bits out here, and you've already made your money. So it's a bit demoralising what to do. Just down tools and go and see what everyone else is doing. Yeah, just have a natter. Actually, that was Friday's job. Yeah, two, I think another course, another course, and we've made us money. This this side, these brickies were on a pound of brickie. And they've made a right mess of some of us. But, not help thou himself. shalt not slice. There's our man Kian. They're all after to aren't they? Right, that'll do. Yeah. Right, we're doing the insulating now. When you get within two quarters of your ties, that's when you want to slide your insulation down. Um, so what we do is just lift your tie just a touch. You haven't got bend it slight to high heaven. Well, that's in a bloody joint. Finished up for the day. I just want to ask you people out there. My van is going back. It's off lease at the end of the month. I've got one month remaining. I'm after a estate car um, that's economical-ish, you know, not a big 33 litre kind of thing, but I'm after an estate car, plenty of room, I'm going to shove all my spot boards and stuff in the back of that, and then at weekends I can use it for other kids, because now, three kids, two dogs, and a messy. it's getting a bit what's it so, instead of using my van, I'm going to get a car, I think, this time instead. For how much stuff I have carry around in my van, it's not even worth having a bloody van, uh, unless I was, you know, doing private jobs and stuff all the time, which I don't because I like uh, my weekends to myself. So leave a comment, uh, leave a comment for me about what you'd get or what you think is a decent workhorse estate car. And um, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, we'll keep give you some more stuff for tomorrow, some more material. Keep it nice and easy. Ding, ding.